going to be messing around with Captain Cords or Captain Plugins, the, the entire plugin suite. Uh, it's beta five. I haven't played with them since the the new beta, and I'm kind of gonna gonna come in here and see what's what's going on, what's new with this. Uh, version seven came out, so we're gonna we're gonna use it and uh, um, see what's new with this. Um, so the earlier when I was trying to to mess around with it for this video, I noticed that uh, basically the the deep and the other types of plugins that that work with the suite. Um, if you don't know, this has a suite of plugins. This has a melody maker. This has a bassline maker. This has a uh, a beat maker. And the uh, um, the the suite doesn't plug in at this point right here. Since I changed this to Alidian, it's supposed to pick up and say, "Hey, by the way, you're Alidian." So if I go to and add chords here, and then say, "Use this one. Use this one. And use this one." God forbid. Um. When I hit go, it's supposed to prop up and 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 suggest a, a baseline to go with this. Um, and as you can see, no baseline. So I, I freaked out uh, and sent emails to both the makers of the plugin and and Bitwig. Uh, the makers of the plugin said Bitwig's not supported. Um, pretty much go use the supported uh, um, DAW, which uh, boo. Um, but uh, Bitwig came back and said, hey, uh, by the way. Uh, there's this setting up here in uh, your plugins that that talk about isolation, and I think in the new 5.0 the isolation is a lot better than it used to be. But tried together with Bitwig, actually manufacturer works a heck of a lot. So basically, we want to constrain our plugins to be per manufacturers when we're talking about these uh, um, plugins, uh, so that they can talk to each other. So let me let me remove it. And let me show you it actually working. So go into the, the Captain Chords, plug it in. Um, we'll, we'll select something really, really uh, cool. And then um, let's let's uh, do the uh, thing. One of the one of the things that I've I've not seen or don't remember there is that there's this add progression, and it boom automatically adds adds a adds a progression. Uh, so you don't even have to think about it. So let me let me go here. Let me go back, add progression, boom, adds a progression. Um, so that's pretty cool. So it go, it uh, it suggested one, uh, three, uh, six, and four. So let me let me clear it out. Add progression. Hey, look, it's a different progression. Pretty cool. Uh, I must add, but, but okay. So now we have our progression there. Let's let's go and add our baseline, drag and drop, and Oh, it's it's set to A minor up here. Okay. Uh, oh, I wonder. I wonder if it uh, does that progression change the key. I'm gonna have to look back. Okay. So when I go here, it it automatically suggests it, and it it synced up to the key. See. Um. Let me change this to to like say major pentatonic. See changes. And not only that, but the um the bass line changes to be dependent on the thing. Now, it looks like it, it's trying to, to do uh, multiple chords on the bass line, so you can you can go in here and say, hey, f either follow the chords. There we go. Back to back to follow the chords. Or if we want to do French or hit maker. And this is about rhythm. Um, uh, as you can see, it's also down here, it's also showing where the, your bass lines are. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and it shows your, your chords up here. Um, so, so it...
really, really cool. Um, among the other types of additions is that they worked on this tabs up here so that you can work uh, with multiple different um, tabs. So say that you got you want to work with two different baselines uh, again synced up. So so basically, if you want to work with a different set of chords. I wonder if you can copy and paste the chords. I guess you, I could have duplicated it. Um, so if you want to use the same things, but you want to have a different baseline, so I want to I want to make there it goes. I want to make a different baseline for this verse, but to have it the same for this one. Do kind of A-B testing and stuff like that for how much you like uh, the different types of arrangements. Uh, and then you can go back and forth and, and do this stuff. Um, also, there's this halftime, uh, divided by halftime, divided by full, uh, or times two. So basically, you can speed it up. cool type stuff um, on there. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, also, there's a, a thing about harmon uh, uh, humanize here that you can add actually swing per note or per, per set. Um, when you're doing this, this little guy pops out here. I think this is new. You can do space and like give it a more, more space and shorten the note so you can uh, basically uh, reduce it. So like like mess with uh, the 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 sizing of it uh, through the human eyes. I think this is new on there. So that's pretty cool for for giving a little bit of um, uh, exact uh, human humanizing uh, per note on here. Um, uh, let's see what else is new. Uh, in, you can actually drag and drop MIDI to to import it. Actually, I wanted to try that. I have I have quite a bit of MIDI. So let's let's try one of my drum MIDI's for pad progressions. All right. Anyways, um, so let's let's grab. This does not like Control Select. All right, let's remove that. Let's let's go in, pop this down. Let's say uh, transpose, and where did it go? Oh, there it is. So you can drag and drop stuff onto the MIDI, and it works with uh, the MIDI that you have. Uh, uh, I think they improved support on this, or they, they uh, improved how it works. Um, so basically, this is my MIDI, so you can actually see the same thing down here in Bitwig, the, the preview area. Uh, it has it has this it, it's the same thing, and then obviously that when it when it goes and does that, it should be suggesting the the same things in uh, Captain or uh, the the deep plugin uh, for your bass lines. Um, also, let me go back uh, to here. Uh, we can go into melody and let's look at melody. I don't think there's a lot that's changed in the newer seven. Um, whoops, did not mean to do that, but okay. Um, So 
they're pretty cool. Again, the, the, it links up with the verses and stuff like that, so that you can uh, do uh, different types of melodies and test it against the different types of choruses or different types of bass lines uh, and keep everything in there. And then when you're all done, just drag and drop out uh, to your to your uh, um, thing, and, and you now have your... Uh, you now have the, the the MIDI up in here that you can either save or or do stuff with once you're past this, and then turn off your your Captain Melody. So overall, pretty cool, pretty cool changes. Um, kind of interesting. Uh, if if uh, if you couldn't tell that it's it's taken probably this long for me since my last video to touch Captain plugins. Uh, I don't use it a whole lot. Uh, I did initially, but realistically, um, it's fun for for training out stuff uh, and and you know building a loop or building a, something in uh, something um, uh, from starters from scratch without any any idea. But usually when I'm when I'm doing stuff, it's usually I have I, I'm I'm not really focused on the. The, the the melody or the notes as you can probably tell I'm more focused on the crazy stuff you can do with it um, like the the MIDI and the grids and the the sounds and stuff like that and that's that's partially the reason why I I don't use it as much but it is a cool tool and I, I do appreciate its existence and obviously I bought it uh, this is not sponsored at all I paid I paid money for this uh, I think about ninety bucks or something like that. Um, but at any rate, uh, I, I like I like the potential. I like the the stuff that it can help to, for identifying stuff and and being able to to work with chords and and uh, melodies and and the bass lines and stuff like that. It makes it really easy and simple uh, once you get past a, a progression. And now it, now uh, with the with the new version of it, um, I I don't even have to 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 think about progressions. I could just hit that button and and it generates a progression for me. Uh, and and pretty much helps with uh, doing that, and so I can work with the the bass line and the and the melody separate, and I got the the, the progression that I need. Anyways, I uh, um, wanted to, to to catch up on Captain Chords. It's it's been a while, or Captain Plugin Suite. It's been a while. Uh, hope you liked the video. Wanted to show some of the newer features of it. Um, and thank you very much uh, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, it uh, it it actually helps me uh, want to do more videos. Um, and I will catch you later.